Hello friends, in today's video we will discuss in detail a very important topic called Individual Satyagraha 1940 to 1941. We had seen in the previous video that the Congress ministries had resigned. After that, the August offer was also rejected by the Congress, which means a political vacuum was created. The patience of the people within the Congress was running out. The members of the Congress wanted the Congress leadership to start a big movement. The matter reached Gandhiji. Gandhiji said that he does not want to launch any mass movement right now. And there are two reasons for this. The first reason is that there is a lot of violence in the mass movement. People get out of control. And because Gandhiji used to preach non-violence, he was not in favor of launching the mass movement. Apart from this, the second reason for not starting the mass movement was that World War II had started and at such a time, the British government was busy in the war. So Gandhiji did not want to embarrass the British government by launching a movement here. He also mentioned this to Lord Linlithgow in his meeting on 27th September 1940. So Gandhiji told the Congress leaders that instead of starting a mass movement, he was thinking of starting an individual satyagraha. Other leaders said that, Gandhiji, we should start a big movement. This small movement will not help us. What will happen by doing this small satyagraha? But Gandhiji said that no movement is small and no religion is bigger than the movement. That means Gandhiji convinced everyone that individual satyagraha would be right. Ultimately, everyone had to obey Gandhiji. In fact, the aim of individual satyagraha was not complete independence or freedom like earlier movements. Here, the aim of individual satyagraha was just that, as an individual, Indians should also have the right to speak. There should be freedom of expression. He was talking about right to speech. That means, through this movement, Gandhiji wanted to affirm and strengthen the freedom of speech. Now the thing is that, why did Gandhiji keep affirming the aim of individual satyagraha, right to speech? Didn't Indians have freedom to speech? Actually, you saw in the previous video that Lord Linlithgow had declared on 3rd September 1939 that India is supporting Britain in World War II, while he did not even ask Indian leaders before declaring this, whether they wanted to support Britain in the war or not. That is, the right to speech of Indians was violated by the Britishers. And this was not all. There were other instances which shows that the British government wanted to suppress the right to speech of Indians. Due to World War II, the British government implemented the Defense of India Act 1940 to suppress Indian revolutionary activities. Apart from this, the British government had introduced many ordinances through which freedom of speech, freedom of press and right to organize was restricted. That is why Gandhiji wanted to pass this message to the whole world through individual satyagraha that, without asking us, on our behalf, the British government itself had declared that Indians are with Britishers in the war. That is, even the right to speak has been taken away from the Indians. Apart from this, by doing individual satyagraha, Gandhiji wanted to give this message to the whole world that the claim of the British government is absolutely wrong. The people of India are not with Britain in World War II. Because of all these reasons, Gandhiji kept the aim of individual satyagraha to strengthen the right to speech and freedom of expression. Now, if we talk about individual satyagraha, then individual satyagraha took place in two phases. The first phase lasted from 11th October 1940 to 14th December 1940. And the second phase started in January 1941 and ended in December 1941. In the first phase, Gandhiji had selected some satyagrahis. These selected satyagrahis had to go to a pre-decided place and deliver a speech. They had to speak against the war. In these speeches, Satyagrahis used to publicly declare that no help should be given to the British government in the war. While doing so, individual Satyagrahis used their right to speech, affirmed their right to speech. In this way, they used to give anti-war speeches by roaming around villages, unless the police come and arrest them. An important thing here is that before every speech, Satyagrahi used to inform the district magistrate about both the place and time of the speech. The first Satyagrahi of individual Satyagraha movement was Acharya Vinoba Bhave. He was a spiritual disciple of Gandhiji. He started individual Satyagraha on 11th October 1940 from Pavnar, Maharashtra. He gave speeches against the war for almost 10 days by roaming around villages. 
and was ultimately arrested on 21st October 1940. The second Satyagrahi was Jawaharlal Nehru. He was also arrested on 31st October 1940. After him, Brahmadat became the third Satyagrahi. In this phase, most of the people could not join the movement. And on 14th December 1940, Gandhi ji stopped this movement for some time. But after a few days, that is in January 1941, the individual Satyagraha was started again. That is why it is also called Phase Two. This time, a large number of people were associated with this movement. Reason was that this time it was said that the individual Satyagrahi will not just go around the villages and give speeches against the war, but the individual Satyagrahi will connect people with his speech and take them towards Delhi. Until the police vehicle comes and arrest them, slogan was given "Delhi Chalo." That is why this movement is also called Delhi Chalo movement. Thousands of people marched towards Delhi along with the Satyagrahis. Due to this, around twenty thousand people were arrested in individual Satyagraha till fifteenth May nineteen forty one under the Defence of India Act. And then in December 1941, the Congress Working Committee passed a resolution that they are ready to support the British government in the war. But the condition is that after the end of the war, the British government will give complete freedom to India. With this resolution, the second phase of individual satyagraha also ended. Let us quickly summarize individual satyagraha. We had seen that Lord Lilithgow had declared without asking Indians that Indians are supporting British government in World War II. Apart from this, British government had also implemented Defence of India Act to suppress Indian revolutionary activities, as well as many ordinances were also passed by the British government to restrict right to speech and freedom of press of Indians. Due to all these reasons, the freedom of expression of Indians was banned. Gandhi ji wanted to strengthen the right to speech or freedom of expression. That is why he started individual satyagraha. The names of the first three satyagrahis selected by Gandhi ji were Acharya Vinoba Bhave, Jawaharlal Nehru, and Brahmadat. Individual satyagraha took place in two phases. In the first phase, the satyagrahi had to go around the villages giving speeches against the war until he was arrested. In the second phase, the slogan of Delhi Chalo was given. Here, satyagrahis used to inspire people to walk with them to Delhi and keep moving towards Delhi until they were arrested. In December 1941, Congress passed the resolution in which this condition was kept that if complete independence is given after World War II, then they are ready to support the British government. With this, the individual satyagraha movement was stopped. The notes of this video are available on bookstava.com website. You will find the link in the description. Videos are available on Bookstava channel on many topics of history. You can watch them too. If you like this video, then do not forget to press like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to Bookstava channel to keep watching more such videos. Thank you so much for watching Bookstava.